This is part four of my plushie collection. I still got quite a few plushies to show you guys. All right, for those who are the big fans of the classic Annoying Orange, I'll show you the, the Annoying Orange plushies. Starting off with the, the Smiling Orange. Very neat. It's kind of a bit dirty because of childhood. Uh, but what the hey. Here's that. The Smiling Orange. The nye, 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 orange. <laughs> with the tongue. And when when they announced that the Annoying Orange have their own toys, I was I'm like, Mom, you gotta take me to Toys R Us. They have they have Annoying Orange toys. I brought every single like lots of toys in there. Man, I miss those days. Here's the Whoa Orange. Whoa. Yeah, the, the, the this one and the I guess all the batteries uh, died because of age, but. Like, whoa, I can't believe my battery died. Now, uh, now Orange is a uh, friends, including his best friend, Pear. I guess his, I guess all the batteries uh, died uh, for age. But here's Pear. Or Orange is a best friend. Here's Midget Apple. It's Little Apple. We all know. Yeah, the bat, like I said, all batteries of these. Uh, don't work, sadly. Yeah, there's a phrase. That some things can't do it forever. Some things... You, you get the whole thing. But anyway, here's the current ones that, that released three years ago. Here's Marshmallow. I uh, the, the next four uh, characters I'll show you, I got them from their website. There's Marshmallow. And what's cool about it, you can squish them. You can squish them like this or use it as a stress ball or I think I find it pretty cool. So here's marshmallow. Not Pigeon Apple got little apple got knocked down. Here's Passion Fruit, voiced by I Justine, the the YouTuber. I'm up there we go. Here's Passion Fruit. And here's uh, Grandpa Lemon, who voiced by Kevin Berwick. Yeah, I was a bit disappointed that they didn't make the, the 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 talking figurines of Grandpa Lemon and Grapefruit, which I have Grapefruit, which I'll show you uh, in just a second. But they only showed it in like in the New York City, I think. I think in 2012, I believe. But but I, I was pretty disappointed that they didn't they didn't announce it or or it came out. I, I was waiting all year for for the Grandpa Lemon and Grapefruit talking figurines, but but that's okay. I got. The plushies anyway and last but not least bob jens no, i'm kidding it's grapefruit hey bob jens uh, voiced grapefruit and it's also the stress ball like like marshmallow passion fruit and grandpa lemon the rest is from 2011 i believe 2011 and th that's that's the exact uh, ball i threw at the uh, rich mitchell who was uh the, the don't interrupt the me video that you saw, which I'll show the, the Mitchells versus the Machines uh, plushies in just a second. So there you go, my annoying orange plushies. Midget Apple didn't really. There we go. There's the rest of the guys I have. I don't have the laughing orange, but that's okay. It doesn't really matter because I don't want to buy too much stuff, which I already have. Which says I'm my inner child is crazy, in a good way. Oh, what we got in here? Now, the next category of plushies is Angry Birds, the, the mobile game. I love Angry Birds, and I still do to this day. So, let's start off with the Angry Birds. Here's Red. I voice Red in Red's Cleaning Unicorn. You can go check it out. And not only Red, I also voice uh, Jay. Real cute little bird. Here's Chuck. Chuck Steak. Get it? Chuck Steak. Here's a little Angry Birds bag. Angry Birds uh, tag. And I have two bombs. Here's here's the first bomb, or Tom, for those who are afraid of, of the name. I don't know why. It's just Exploding Bird. But for, for the Pete's sake and for, for fun, I'll, I'll call him Tom. Just like from the Red's Clean Unicorn movie. Here's my other bomb. Or Tom, or whatever, whatever you call it. Yeah, the two, the two Toms, 
Tom Bombs. Get a Tom Bombs. <laughs> okay. I also have the Never Chuck. Here it is right there. The big one, not the small one, but this is the regular size. These five are the, the small ones. This is the bigger one. Yeah, let me put it right there. And three more uh, Angry Birds uh, plush. I have Hal. What's cool about this, it's... You, you could actually spin like this. You could actually spin it around. How cool is that? Usually a boomerang is like this. Like this, but... It doesn't really matter. It's still pretty cool. Here's, here's that. Here's Matilda. Waltzing Matilda. Anyway, all jokes aside, here's Matilda. Here's a regular size with one with Chuck. Um, I'll put it right here next to the next to Chuck's father. And the elephant in the room, Terrence. The big guy. Actually, Red's uh, big brother. Here he is. A big fella he is. He actually, actually, Terrence is actually, actually Hal is a bit taller than Terrence. A little fun fact. So yeah, those, that's all I got for the Angry Birds of plushies. And Matilda just fell. What do you gotta do? And speaking of Angry Birds, why not show the, the characters from Rio? Which is the Sony Pictures, uh, Inter um, Sony Pictures Entertainment, Sony Pictures Animation Film. Here's Blue. B-L-U from the Angry Birds Reel, as you can tell. I should have had, put this in the collection, but it's okay. Yeah, it's alright. It's what it is. Yeah, I'll just have him look like that. And Jural, his uh, blues love interest. Very cute. I'll make it look like they're kissing each other. And then we have it with for real. Now I'm going to do uh, some TV shows. Some, uh, some of the TV shows that I'm going to show you. Um, I, I have Garfield and Spongebob, which I have two Garfield plushies and three, so far, three Spongebob plushies. I'll show you Garfield. I got for Christmas when I was a little kid. I love Garfield. He's very cool. Very cool cat. I'm kind of related to him because I don't like Mondays and I like lasagna and, you know, I can relate to him. And his arch enemy, Normal. Which, I don't, I don't know why Garfield doesn't like normal, because normal isn't that bad. He isn't that bad. I, I, got her, I got her, or I guess by the eyelash, I guess it's her, I believe? I believe it's her. I got normal and both normal and Garfield uh, for Christmas. So, uh, nah, we'll just put it like that. And then we'll go to Spongebob, starting with... The man himself who lives in the pineapple under the sea. You guys can shout it out. SpongeBob SquarePants. Here's SpongeBob. And we have Mr. Krabs. It kind of sounds like Popeye, but it doesn't matter. Here's Mr. Krabs. Now I do have, I think I do have Patrick, but I think I, I don't know where Patrick is. I don't know where I put it with him. Either give it away or... Nah, I, I don't quite remember, but... Anyway, we have uh, Gary. Gar uh, Spongebob's... I almost said Garfield. Spongebob's uh, pet snail. Meow. Pretty good, huh? So there you go. Garfield and Spongebob. And to all you Seinfeld fans and the Three Stooges fans, I have some plushies from the Three Stooges and Seinfeld. Might as well start with uh, Seinfeld first, since I grew up with it first. You have Jerry... From Itsy Bitsy from Hallmark. Very cool. And when, when they first when they first announced that they're gonna release these as Itsy Bitsy plush, I'm like, I gotta get this for my birthday. I gotta get them. Because Seinfeld's my favorite show. We have a Elaine, Julie Julie Lily Dreyfus. Look how soft her hair is. Just like the the, the Incredibles one, they don't have legs. I guess it's kind of like a Funko plush thingy. But for Itsy Bitsy, it's the same thing because there's no legs. It's just the arms and you have any idea. We have Michael Richards, Cosmo Kramer. Look at a little, little shrimp. I'm sorry, lobster uh, shirt he's wearing. Very nice. And I guess this one's got to be the winner. It's too accurate. It's George Costanza. 
Look at this guy. <laughs> Look at the bald spot. This has got to be the best one yet. George Costanza, the red jacket and the the plaid shirt. This, it, it actually, actually a hoodie. Well, obviously, ho jackets have hoodies, but this, this, this is too accurate to, this is accurate as Jason Alexander. So that is the winner. George the winner. And now for the Three Stooges. Here's uh, Mo. Oh, wise guy, huh? To all you younger viewers out there who don't know who these guys are, you gotta watch them. I, I believe it's up on YouTube. It's it's a very, very old show. I think I believe it's like a 1930s to like the 60s. It's a very funny show. I still love the Three Stooges. I mean, I mean, if you're pretty curious about the Seinfeld and the Three Stooges, you gotta watch them. Or buy Seinfeld on DVD. Or I believe it's on Netflix. Seinfeld's on Netflix, so... So yeah, have a chance to all you to all my younger viewers out there. We have Larry. Hey, what's the big idea? The guy who plays the violin to Pop Goes the Weasel. Very funny. <laughs> look, at, look at this hair. Looking like a mad scientist. Here's Larry. And of course, my all-time favorite stooge, Curly. Certainly. Curly has got to be my favorite stooge out of all the three stooges i'm, I'm kind of bumped out because uh, they didn't made a uh, shemp and curly joe for these heads but it doesn't really matter is because curly everybody loves curly but but that would it would have been cool if they made shemp and curly joe and i believe the other joe but now not all the people are a big fan of the, the other joe but i believe curly joe did okay but this curly over here is the best one so there you go. There's Seinfeld, there's Jerry, Elaine, Kramer, and George, and the Three Stooges, Curly, Larry, and Moe. There you have it. Now let's move on to the Mitchells versus the Machines. Here's Katie, the main character. Here she is. My that's my this is my favorite character from the Mitchells uh, movie. Uh, I'll put it right here because she has a ponytail. Her little brother, Aaron. Hi, would you like to talk to me about dinosaurs? Not right now, Chief. I'm in the zone. We'll talk about dinosaurs later. All right, pal? And, of course, their parents. Rick. Katie's father. Here it is for the very nice yellow coat. And, of course, the mother. Linda Mitchell. Here she is. Very nice uh, t-shirt she has with a heart and the flowers. Especially with the, the jacket that she's around her waist. And you can't, can't do it without their dog, Manchi. Very, very, very funny looking. It looks like a loaf of bread or whatever they said in the movie. And there we go, the Mitchells. Here they are. Do these guys remind you of the Wiggles a little bit because of their colors? Let me know in the comments there below.